my name's Cheyenne, as you can tell by the channel name. Um, I'm a junior in college, so no, I do not have a degree. I'm not a professional. I'm making this video just based on my knowledge of mental illness and my experience with mental illness. So I just want to like say that first before I get people like coming at me, whatever. I can relate to Kanye to a certain extent because I don't have bipolar disorder. I'm pretty sure he's bipolar too because he is high mania, he's not in between manias. Um, and I like relate to him by this because I have major depressive disorder and borderline personality disorder. Um, so no, these are not the same as bipolar disorder. I also have generalized anxiety, PTSD, and I'm in recovery of an eating disorder. So in this video, I'm going to explain the basics of bipolar disorder because there is a major, major misconception. Um, I'm going to explain mania, which is a part of bipolar disorder and what Kanye is experiencing right now. And I'm going to relate all of that to my own experiences with borderline personality disorder and those heightened moods that I go through. Mind you, the heightened moods that I go through are not to the level of mania that Kanye experiences. And I am not going to sit here and like analyze each of Kanye West's behaviors and relate them to each symptom. I'm just gisting it up. So someone with bipolar disorder experiences a low mood and a high mood. And that's really it. So the low mood is labeled as depression, usually a major depressive disorder. And I feel like a lot of people kind of have an idea of what depression is. I mean, people exaggerate it a lot, like exaggerate their own stuff and not realizing like how it literally in like, what's the word? Not enables, the opposite of enables. I don't know, it literally stops you from day to day life. Like they don't realize that it's enabling. Is that? dropping English as a second major <laughs> with like a depressive episode like major having major depressive disorder um you struggle to do day-to-day -day activities you have no interest in doing anything even the stuff that you love you know you love it because when you're not experiencing this you love it but in a depressive episode like nothing is of interest to you nothing like nothing really makes you feel you feel empty um it can be hard to focus, super unmotivated, irritable, you're shut in, you're empty. During my bad depressive episodes, um, like, I hate saying this because I feel like people, like, they, like, are like, oh, like, you're just saying that, like, how could you say that? But when I'm in a bad depressive episode, a loved one of mine could die and I would continue to feel nothing. Like, because you are just so numb and empty, like, that's like what people don't understand about mental illness. Like, it literally, like, <laughs> it messes, it, it's your brain. Your brain isn't working like a n normal person's brain. It is extremely hard to control these emotions because your body isn't releasing the happy chemicals like dopamine and serotonin. It's like completely out of your control. This explains why Kanye only says outlandish things and usually creates music during an episode of Mania. It's so hard to create when you're in a depressive episode because like your mind is so like full but empty. Like you li like you, it's so hard to do like anything. Um, so Mania, that is the other key component of bipolar disorder. Bipolar meaning two, you have like two moods, the low and the high. So I don't know for sure, but I've read, and before I even read this, that's what I would tell people. I would use this analogy. Again, dropping English as a second major, so. But people compare it to drinking and being off molly at the same time um because you just feel on top of the world you're ecstatic um 
and nothing's gonna stop you for what you want to do because you just feel fucking great you feel on top of the world and for somebody to really only experience a depressive episode and mania like I feel like that in itself just kind of fuels your mania because you went from feeling nothing to feeling everything and how do you how do you even react to that like um, I'm gonna list like some symptoms of mania and I feel like you can really see these in Kanye's behavior um, and whenever I talk about symptoms or anybody talks about mental illness symptoms you have to realize that these symptoms are to the extreme these symptoms are like not letting you do day-to-day -day activities not letting you function as a normal person so during a meeting episode it's likely to be abnormal upbeat jumpy or wired you have an exaggerated sense of well-being and self-confidence like euphoria Dec you have a decrease need for sleep because you know you're on top of the world unusual talkativeness racing thoughts distractibility and poor decision making these could be buying sprees taking risks making foolish investments drug abuse risky driving um depending on the episode that you're having and how long it lasts and stuff like that these impulsive decisions and actions um can be like life-threatening or life damaging um depending on like the person's mental health at that moment um because you think like you know you you're in a mania episode you take all the money that you have saved you fly to las vegas you go to the casino because again you're you're choosing to do activities that are fueling your mania in a sense because it's kind of like if you've ever done certain drugs like say if you were off molly and alcohol you're you feel unstoppable and you want to do things that make you feel more alive you want to keep feeling alive and like you know with drug abuse people want to keep feeling good and so then you have your brain telling you you want to keep feeling good so you're gonna keep taking these risks to keep feeling and it can be damaging and it can be life-threatening I empathize as much as I can with Kanye for Kanye um, just because I have borderline personality disorder and with that I don't feel moods like normal people do um, I'm gonna make a video explaining that just because I really want people to like understand my illness and like why I act the way I do and how far I've come um, but I'm not gonna totally go into borderline personality disorder right now just like I'm not gonna totally go into bipolar disorder so like if you want videos specifically on those things I mean, I'm already doing brilliant percentage. But if you want a video specifically on bipolar disorder, like, let me know. But anyways, because of my borderline personality disorder, like, I don't feel sad. I feel depressed. I don't feel mad. I feel livid. I don't feel happy. I feel ecstatic. Everything is heightened. And unlike bipolar disorder, where it's like months of low and months of high, days, months, days, weeks, or months, um, my moods shift more times than I can count throughout the day. Any little thing, and sometimes nothing at all, changes it. So, like, yeah, I, I just go through those, like, three crazy emotions all the time. Like, I'm never, like, and that's why like I don't ever say like oh I'm happy because I'm never like happy like I'll just have bursts of like a static kind of like a burst of mania in a sense but it's not to that degree and that's what you need to understand but there are similarities with episodes the only times that I don't feel like these heightened emotions and only these heightened emotions or when I smoke, smoke weed. Um, and that's like why I smoke for the most part. Um, I can finally just be calm, my mood is level, I finally feel somewhat relaxed because, you know, I can think clearly and my moods aren't all over. Like, something like, in borderline personality disorder, somebody could like, 
just be on their phone while they're talking to you and you automatically think like that person doesn't care like you know they why are you even talking right now like you might as well shut up and you're closing and, and now you're sad like super sad like what's the fucking point like nobody cares what you have to say so why even open your mouth why are you even here it's like to those extremes and even something as little as that um but if i'm high um and mind you like i'm not even talking about like really getting smacked like i'm just you know chilling smoking um i can like somebody can be on their phone and like i can actually like process and understand like that's nothing personal like they're just on their phone chilling like <laughs> it's not that deep but like without that and mind you, I'm not like really medicated right now. Um, and I'm not receiving therapy. Without smoking, like I can't do that because like I can, but it's really, really hard for me because like my brain, it's not the right levels and shit. It's really only when I'm at an ecstatic state, like if in that moment I'm like feeling good and like really good uppy you know um and i'm not in a depressive episode that's when i can actually get smacked and so it's like very very rare and i've like recognized that because i used to think it was more related i think it still does relate to my depression but it's also the moods too because if i'm in a depressive state then no way i'm getting smacked but that's also like no way that i'm really experiencing a crazy happy emotion like uh, it's complicated and that's not what i'm talking about right now so but when i am ecstatic and mind you for me this only lasts minutes hours minutes and hours really um i feed it and uh, like i feed into it like it's not like i'm just like okay like i'm gonna just let this go like if i especially like if i'm in like a mood where it's like i want to keep feeling this i want like you know when i feed into it um i i relate to a lot of the symptoms of mania um i make impulsive decisions and changes i spend money i shouldn't takes literally everything in me not to do drugs because i know that they're going to make me continue to feel this way and i want to keep feeling this way i want to feel good um it leads me to do more risky behaviors um and i feel amazing on top of the world and yet though that only lasts for a few moments a lot of the time but like it is a crazy feeling like and you want it to last but you know it's not and like because i feel like because i have such like a concept of these things like i like I shut it off so like I said for me these feelings only last minutes hours someone with bipolar disorder those feelings can last months like imagine feeling on top of the world off Molly and alcohol for months like yeah you're going to look crazy and do crazy things when someone's in a state of mania, from my understanding, it's literally like telling someone who is intoxicated and off Molly to chill. Like, you can't, they're not hearing it. That could trigger an angry outburst or it could trigger immediate isolation, but they're not hearing it. If it's not feeding in to their illness, it's one ear and out the other. If they're not negatively reacting to it, they're either just gonna disregard it or they're gonna freak the fuck out. And for me, with borderline personality disorder, you go from idolizing someone one moment, holding them on a pedestal, like, you know, talking so highly of them, they are, you know, the person that you love. But one little thing, even if you don't mean it, how they took it, they now either view you as the worst person or they feel as though they're the worst person. You know, you can feel so much anger towards someone if you feel as though they did you wrong even if there's no logical thinking there's no logical like yes they actually did something wrong because you're acting on emotions and everything is black and white if you're going through an episode and someone tells you that you need help and you're not ready for it 
You're most likely going to say hurtful things to that person and you're going to create that person as an enemy. Because I mean, that's what your brain's telling you they are. And I feel like this relates to bipolar disorder and what Kanye is going through and why he said what he said at the rally and why he made those tweets towards Kim. I feel like with both borderline personality disorder and bipolar disorder, things are very black and white. There is no gray for us because your emotions are just always to the extreme and it sucks. Now, um, this is why I might cry, but I'm gonna try to hold it together. Five minutes later. Just being an individual who has a mentally ill parent, I just wanna hug North and tell her that her dad loves her. That it's not her and it's not him, it's his illness and that he does love her. Um, Cause it's hard, it's really hard to like remind yourself that like you know two different people two, for me it's my mom and it's my mom with her borderline personality disorder episode it's like they're the same person but they're different and like your mental illness clouds your judgment and it clouds a lot so being a child with a mentally ill parent is extremely difficult they do and say things that hurt you so deep inside but you have to remember that that's not them. That's their illness. Kanye is saying that he almost awarded West is going to impact her life. Like there's no way that it's not. That shit will hurt. Um, and you know, I feel like the most important thing to go about that is for Kim and them to teach her that her dad still loves her. And that that is a part of his illness. A few years ago, see like this is hard hitting like and this is why like it just hurts to see all these negative judgment and harsh criticism towards Kanye because it just hits home. Um, my mom told me and my told me that when me and my sister were growing up that one day things got really bad for her and she had got like a gun went in the forest and was going to shoot herself and since she told me that that hasn't left my head and it never will i will always think about that i think like how could you be so ready to leave us your children why would you even tell me that and do i mean nothing to you But, I know that's her illness. I know she does love me. Um, my mom has borderline personality disorder like me. I'm not saying being mentally ill is an, is an excuse to treat your loved ones badly, but being mentally ill is extremely difficult to have a relationship with anyone. Um, until you get better like for me i don't get why someone wouldn't want help but there can be so many reasons for that <laughs> like i get it but i don't like for one it's super scary um for many like me like kanye like my mom living with your illness is all you know like for me because i have like a certain self-awareness and like understanding and like i'm working really hard i can separate me and my mental illness a lot of the time like i look at it as two different people um and a lot of people don't have that grasp but for me i see people experiencing normal emotions and having normal relationships and just going about day-to-day -day life normally and that is all I want. It's all I want. And I don't get how someone, and I don't get why someone wouldn't try to get that. Like, I don't, I don't know. But for me, that's all I want. And that's, that's my goal. I want to be healthy mentally. Like, I want to function like a normal human being. I want to have healthy relationships. And I want to have a family and, like, love my children so much. I get Kanye is a celebrity, but he's still a mentally ill individual who is not medicated, receiving therapy, 
and is experiencing an episode of mania right now. Because he's famous and he does not have his mental health under control, he's publicizing everything and has a huge audience. I don't think him being a celebrity is an excuse as to why he should have his mental illness under control. I get that that opens up way more options because you have the money and you have the name to get yourself the help. But you have to want the help. He has to want help. And what people don't understand with mental health and mental, like with mental illness, that it's a long and kind of never ending journey. Like, I'm always going to have like five mental illnesses. It's just me staying under control, being medicated, receiving therapy, and you know, learning to work through that stuff. Because the journey, it really is like never ending. It just gets easier because you stay medicated and you learn to recognize control and cope with emotions in life. Um, I know that if my mom was a celebrity right now, I know she would be ridiculed so badly right now. Um, she's going through stuff regarding her illness and I don't feel comfortable talking about it right now because that is her and when you talk about like it it's complicated um i'll leave it at that i know that the public would criticize her for her thoughts and actions because it's even hard for me not to my mom is 45 years old kanye west is 43. i get he has the money to get help and it's easier for him but just like my mom he has to want the help and right now they don't they're okay with how they they're living with their lives right now because this is their normal it's your normal it's all you know you don't know what it's like to feel content so that's all i'm gonna say on it so let me know what kinds of videos you want me to make um or what you think of this because i really don't know what direction i want to go with my channel i don't know if i want because i know i want to make more videos regarding mental health i don't know if i should keep them separate from my main channel um I don't know feedback would be nice um but like comment and subscribe if you want um i'm gonna try to post more it's just hard with what i go through and stuff um but yeah thank you for watching